I'm Gay Gasper. I've created a great abdominal routine that's easy to follow at any level, even if you're a beginner. But don't think you're going to get off easy. Achieving those sculpted and defined abs takes hard work and consistency. But you can do it. For best results, combine this workout with a sensible diet and include aerobic training. By doing so, you'll burn fat and see definition faster, which is always very motivating. This basic ab program features my favorite top 10 ab exercises hand-picked to give you a lean, mean midsection. We execute the exercises in a specific progression, each targeting a different part of the abs. At times during this workout, you'll see a split screen. This enables me to give you a basic variation of the exercise, as well as a version that's more challenging. You can take it slow at first, but as you build up strength, try some of the more difficult variations when they appear on the screen for the maximum ab attack. You'll also see these helpful icons designed to help you get the most out of the program. The jargon alert gives you plain English explanations about abdominal terminology. The myth buster separates fact from fiction. Tip offers insights and helpful hints. The beware icon cautions you against common mistakes and remember keeps you on track and focused. Before we get started, here are some important things you should know. Always wear comfortable clothes that you can move in freely. Work out on carpet or use a mat or towel. And keep water nearby. So if you're ready, let's get started on those rock hard abs. Before we work out, let's warm up our abs. Separate your feet a little bit further than hip width apart. Soften your knees. Let's find neutral spine position because this is where we're gonna do our workout. Take your wrists to your hips and by contracting your abs, close the gap. Draw your sides in. We're gonna call this inching our center. Drop your tailbone straight down. Your chest is up. Your chin stays up. Arms are gonna start down. Take a nice deep breath. Inhale, expand your rib cage. Exhale down. Do that again. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Clasp your hands. Round your back forward. Roll your body up and go down. Do that again, nice and slow. Inhale. Round forward and up. Down. A little faster. Up, round, lift and lower. Again, lift. Round. Let's do two more of those. There are no shortcuts. Work out regularly. One more time. Combined with a sensible diet and aerobics for best results. Reach side to side, really expanding through the midsection, and then shift your feet side to side. Reach all the way up so you feel your oblique muscles or those side muscles stretch out. Great. Four more. Punch side right from your shoulder, twist from your torso. Always warm up to avoid injury. Eight more. And ensure maximum muscle efficiency. Last four. Pull your elbow back, set your feet. Give me a small twist, side to side. Keeping your elbows in line with your rib cage and your hips to me. Let's speed it up. Perfect. Now give me three quick and a right knee. Three, two, one, knee. One more, shift, tap, punch, back to this move again. Really twisting from your torso, four. Pull your elbow back, give me a slow twist. Set your feet, elbows in line with your rib cage. Now, speed it up. Drink plenty of water before and after your ab workout. Three quick and a left knee. One more. Shift tap. Let's put this movement together. Four more. Quick twist. Right knee. Shift tap and punch for eight. Really twisting. Four more. Pull your elbow back. Quick twist. Three. Left knee. Back to shift tap, punch eight. Get motivated by creating a mental picture of your ideal midsection. Three quick twists, right knee. One more. Shift, punch, tap, eight. Last time. 
three quick twists. Left knee. Let's move on from here. Step touch side to side. Get comfortable with this movement. Four more. Let's add a little bit of arms. Figure eight. As you get comfortable, make it bigger. Then dip side to side. Feel the stretch all through your abs and back. Four more. Keep your step touch, arms down. Excellent. Small shoulder roll, back. Bring the elbow with it, then start the arm, back. Four more, then we're gonna set our feet wide. Stay here, lunge, side to side. Hands on your thighs for back support. Now bring an opposite shoulder to the knee. Eight, seven, four, Hold, roll your shoulder up and back, drop your chest a little bit. From our abs, tuck your tailbone, belly button your spine, curl up, elongate your spine. Let's do that again. Under, and elongate. Hands up on your thigh, two more. Let's do one more of those. Under, elongate. Now drop your chest slightly, take your chin to your chest, roll it all the way up from your upper back, inhale. Exhale, feet together. Excellent job. Grab the mat, meet me on the ground. Let's get started on those rock hard abs. Our first exercise is the basic crunch. Most ab exercises are variations on the basic crunch. So we need to master this one before we can move on. So bring your hands down, roll down to your elbows. Feet come comfortably up to your hips. Hands back behind your head, unclasped. This way you'll avoid pulling on your neck. Let's set that neutral spine position. Ribs to the hips. Close the gap by slightly contracting your abdominals. Cinch your sides toward the center. Contract your abs, pulling your shoulder blades off the ground. Pause and return back down. Are you ready to try 10 reps? Here we go. Up for two counts, and lower. Chin remains up in line with your spine. Elbows remain back in line with your shoulders. Exhale up, inhale down. Keep your buttocks relaxed so your abs do all the work. Four more. For an easier or basic option, try arms across the chest, elbows lifted with chin on wrists. Last two. One more time. Exhale and inhale. Let's rest and stretch out for a second. Take a nice deep breath, expand your rib cage. Arms back down, set in that neutral spine again. Hands back, unclasp, 10 more reps. Up for two. Our second set, we're gonna concentrate on keeping our shoulder blades lifting off the ground, elbows behind your shoulders without pulling on your neck. Ready for more of a challenge? Place your legs further away from your buttocks. This abdominal curl concentrates on the upper part of the abdominals, our rectus abdominals. Exhale up. Last two. Technique is key to success. Listen closely to gaze cues to achieve maximum results. Excellent, rest. Extend those legs and arms, take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Great job. The reverse curl focuses on flattening the lower half of the abs. Begin with your feet up, calves parallel to the ground, knees in line with your hips, like sitting in a chair. Arms are going out to the sides. Contract your abdominals, pulling your belly button into your spine, raising your hips, and back down to the start position. Are you ready for 10 reps? Let's go. Up for two, slow and steady, down. Exhale as you lift. Inhale down, keeping your leg angle the same. Exhale, 
Inhale. Contract your abs without kicking your legs. Move your knees toward your rib cage. For an easier or basic option, try keeping your heels closer to your buttocks. Three more. Small range of motion. Those hips only move about an inch or two off the ground. Excellent rest. Feet down. Give me a nice deep breath. Let's stretch. And go back into that abdominal reverse curl position. Feet up, chair. Ready for 10 more? Go. A, two, down. This is gonna focus on really keeping our chest down while our abs do all the work to lift our knees up. Exhale, up. I'm too old to have a firm midsection. False. You can improve appearance and health at any age with these exercises and a sensible diet. Last four. For a challenge, try stretching legs to the ceiling in line with the hips. Last one. Great. Feet down. Stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to combine the basic crunch and the reverse curl simultaneously. The double crunch works the entire length of your abdominal area. Start with your feet up in that chair position, calves parallel to the ground, knees in line with your hips. Hands back, behind your head, unclasped. Contract your abdominals, raising your hips to your ribs, your ribs to your hips, shoulder blades and hips off the ground. Return to star position. Are you ready to join me for 10 reps? Here we go. Up for two and down. Exhale as you lift. Inhale down. Keep your elbows back in line with your shoulders. Exhale. Inhale. Avoid arching your back on the way down to eliminate placing stress on your spine. This exercise feels like you're folding in half. Last two. Keep breathing throughout the exercise. Always exhale at the point of most exertion. Great job, feet back down. Legs out, deep breath. Go back down into that ab ready position. Feet up, chair, hand back, unclasp. Are you ready for 10? Let's go. Up for two. Lower. Lifting the shoulder blades off and the hips. We're gonna focus on peak contraction from both ends. Emphasize precise technique, such as slow and controlled movement, rather than increasing the level of difficulty. Exhale up, inhale down. Four more, keeping those elbows back. Concentrate on just using your abs. Try not to recruit other muscles to help out. Come on, one more. You can do it. Squeeze it up. And down. Excellent. Feet down. Big stretch. Inhale. Exhale. Great job. Let's tighten up those love handles with the next exercise, the alternating oblique twist. This move focuses on the sides of our torso. Feet on the floor, hip width apart, fingertips unclasped, resting behind your head. Alternate by bringing your opposite shoulder across to your knee, rotating your torso. Keeping the opposite elbow down as an anchor. Bring it down, rotate the opposite shoulder across to the other side. Down and hold. Let's do 10 reps. Are you ready? Here we go. Up for two. Come to me. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. Exhale and inhale. Elbow remains back in line with the shoulder. Chin stays in line with your spine. For an easier or basic option, reach your hands towards the outside of the opposite knee. For a challenge, cross ankles with feet off floor, knees turned out in line with hips. 
feel the oblique or your side muscles contract as you twist your torso. Keep those hip bones on the ground as your opposite shoulder comes across. For optimum results, don't rest at the bottom of the oblique twist before starting your next repetition. Keep breathing, exhale, inhale. Three more. Last two. Each repetition counts. One more. For best results, don't just go through the motions. And rest. Great job, arms out to your side. Drop one knee to me, then follow with the other. Stretch and feel that torso relax and elongate. Bring one knee up, down to the side, followed by the other one. Relax there. Feel the torso just stretch out. Bring the knees up. Hands back behind your head. Join me for another set of 10. Here we go. Up for two. Down for two. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. On your second set, focus on really keeping those hips down as your torso rotates side to side. Strong abdominal muscles can prevent bad posture, as well as to shape and define your midsection. Focus on that oblique muscle contracting. Exhale up. Inhale down. Elbow remains back. Chin in line with your spine. For maximum benefit, mentally focus in on the muscle you are working. Successful ab training is a combination of both physical and mental effort. Exhale up. Inhale down. Again. As you rotate during the exercise, keep your hips firmly on the ground without letting your body roll side to side. Great job. Arms out to the side, one knee front. The other knee follows. Relax there. Switch. Feel your torso. Relax and elongate. Knees up. Great job. The single knee bend with a leg extension is a great exercise for defining your abs. Keep your feet flat on the floor. Hands back behind your head. Contract your abdominals and bend one knee towards your chest, lifting your shoulder blades off the floor. As you extend your leg, go back to the star position. Are you ready to join me for 10 reps? Here we go. Up for two, knee comes in and out. As your knee lifts up towards your chest, look out over your knee. Exhale, up. Inhale down. Lift up and fully extend that leg. For an easier or basic option, extend leg to a 45 degree angle. For more of a challenge, add a reverse curl before extending your leg. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Two. One more, then we're going to change our legs up and feet to the floor. Other knee comes in, out. Exhale, up. Keep your back in neutral and your buttocks relax. Exhale, inhale. Elbows remain back, chin stays in line with your spine. Avoid using jerking motion during a crunch. Attention to proper form is key to remaining injury free as well as getting the most benefit from the exercise. Three more, exhale up, inhale down. Two more, 
One more time, we're gonna do a little rest. Great, feet down, legs out, arms up. Nice deep breath. Exhale, bring your hands back, feet up. Ab ready position. Okay, join me on our second set. Contract your abs up, knee pulling up and out. Squeeze with your abdominals. Exhale up. The speed you perform the exercise is important. The tempo should be slow and controlled through both the raising and lowering phases for optimum results. Four more. Exhale, elbows remain back. Three. Last two. Okay, after this one, feet are gonna change up, foot down to the ground, other knee comes up. Exhale as you lift, inhale out. Shoulder blades lift, elbows back. Exhale up, inhale down. Consistency is the key to getting results. Make this workout a regular part of your fitness routine. Up and out. Four more. Last two. Come on, you can do it. One more lift. Foot down. Great job. Legs out. Arms up overhead. Extend your abdominals. Arms down. Great job. Who doesn't want a leaner waist? Our next exercise, the bicycle, is an excellent way to whittle away at your sides. Feet up, heels close to your buttocks, hands back behind your head. Contract your abdominals, pulling your shoulder blades off the ground. Extend one leg at a 45 degree angle while the other knee stays in. Twist or rotate the opposite shoulder to the knee, then alternate the entire exercise to the other side using a smooth and rhythmic motion. Are you ready for 10 reps? Okay, here we go. Two counts. And switch. Two, exhale, inhale. Keep your elbow in line with your shoulder and your chin up in line with your spine. When bicycling, keep your hips down. Also remember, don't let your legs touch the floor. Try to keep your hips moving from side to side as you bicycle those legs. Exhale. Keep the motion controlled throughout the exercise. Don't go too fast. Keep it flowing. Last one. Great, bring your knees in, rest. Let's do another set. Hands back behind your head, contract your abs. Here we go. One, two, let's focus on Fully lengthening that extending knee. Exhale, inhale. When you are ready for an ab blasting challenge, try dropping your legs lower. You can really feel the difference. Elbow remains back. Keep your hips down on the ground. Three more, you can do it. Last two. One more. Great, knees in. Awesome job. The next, one of my favorites, is a challenging exercise called toe dipping. It's the ultimate way to flatten your abs. Feet lifted, calves parallel to the floor, and knees together. Hands go back behind your head. Contract your abdominals, pulling your shoulder blades off the floor. Lower one toe to the ground, hence the name toe dipping. Exhale, using your abs, return your foot back to the start position, then alternate other toe down. Exhale, return to start. Okay, when you're ready, join for 10. Lift and hold. Inhale, toe down. Exhale, return to start. Again, inhale and exhale. 
maintaining that chair position. Shoulder blades stay lifted as far, if you can, off the ground. Exhale up. Inhale down. For an easier or basic option, keep your head on the floor. For more of a challenge, extend arms overhead. Great. Down. Exhale on the way up. Realize that your abs are stabilizing your torso while your legs are both lifting and lowering. Inhale. Exhale. If you can, shoulder blades come off the ground. Exhale up. Inhale, keeping your back flat on the ground. Don't overtrain. Working out too intensely can lead to burnout. So stay smart and dig in for the long haul. Again, inhale and exhale. One more. Yes, great, drop your feet. Chest down, legs extended, arms up overhead. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, bring your arms back down. Are you ready for the second set? Bend your knees. Feet up, chair position. Knees together, hands back behind your head. Contract your abdominals, pulling your shoulder blades off the ground. Dip that toe. Exhale, bring it back up. On this set, I want you to really concentrate on keeping that chair position. Inhale, use your abs. Exhale, drive your leg back up. Elbows stay back in line with your shoulder. Chin stays up in line with your spine. The more reps, the better. False. Quality, not quantity or more repetition, is key to maximizing successful ab training. Again, inhale, exhale using your abs to return. Dipping that toe down, exhale up. Inhale, exhale. Great job, keep going. Four more. Muscle soreness is common after a workout, but be mindful of good pain versus bad pain and never push yourself too hard or allow any significant discomfort. If you can, Shoulder blades off. Last two. One more, you can make it. Inhale and exhale. Great job, chest down, feet down. Let's stretch it out. Legs out, arms up overhead. And relax. We're really getting an abdominal workout now. Let's kick it up with abdominal circles. A great way to activate and tone the entire midsection. Place your feet flat on the ground, hands back behind your head. Let's find ad ready position again. Take your rib cage to your hips, close the gap. Sit your center. Circle your torso toward me. Slow and steady, keeping the tension on the muscle five times. And then away from me five times. Are you ready? Let's go. Exhale as you lift. Inhale down. Keeping your elbows back in line with your shoulders and chin in line with your spine. Concentrate on making a full circle with your torso. One more time. Let's go to the other side. Here we go. Up and around, keeping that tension on the muscle. Exhale up. Inhale down. Again. If this is too difficult, try keeping your arms folded across your chest. One more. Great. Let's rest. Legs out, arms up overhead. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, drop your hands down, bend your knees, find that ab ready position, hands back behind your head. On the second set, I wanna really have you focus on your hips staying down as your torso circles. Let's go, five reps. And down. Again, exhale up, inhale down. 
When you're ready for a challenge, try balancing on your heels, feet further from your buttocks. One more. Let's take it to the other side. Exhale. Inhale. Keep tension on your abs and make slow, smooth, controlled circles. Last two. One more time. Great job. Rest, legs out, arms up overhead. Deep breath while you stretch, expanding that rib cage. Exhale, arms down by your side. An important component of any ab workout is learning about stabilization. The forearm bent knee plank lift is a great exercise to train both back and abs for serious ab conditioning. If you're lying, come to an all fours position. Lower your elbows to the ground. Knees under your hips, elbows in line with your shoulders so you're supported on your forearms. If you want, you can use a folded towel under your elbows for comfort. Tuck your feet under, compress your abs, and pull your belly button back towards your spine so your body is in one straight line from your head to your hips. Raise your knees slightly off the ground for three counts, then return back on one. Are you ready to join me for 10? Let's go. Lift, three, two, one, and lower again. Exhale as you lift, inhale down, up, down. This position teaches us to use our abdominals as stabilizers, which means it's our center of power for any movement. Exhale, up, inhale, down, up. Keep your body in one straight line from your shoulders to your hips. For a challenge, take knees behind hips, lift, straighten legs, bend knees, and lower. Great, pop your toes, extend your arms, let's do a little rest. Back up to all fours, down to your elbows, Feet tucked under. Are you ready? Here we go. Lift, three, two, one, and down. Lift, two, three. On your second set, I want you to concentrate that your elbows maintain directly underneath your shoulders so your body doesn't rock forward and back. Again, exhale, up, two, down. The lift is from your abs, not from pressing your rear up. Three more. Two, keep your hips level. Lift from your abs. Good, rest. Drop your toes under, extend your arms, relax. Great job. Our 10th and final lab exercise is the forearm plank with alternating leg lift. We saved the best for last. This will really work your abs. Begin on your elbows with your legs extended behind you. Forearms supporting your weight and the balls of your feet. Concentrate on making one straight line from your shoulders to your hips. Holding this position, lift and extend the leg hip height then return it back to the ground. Alternate to the other side. Great, okay, you ready to join me for 10 reps? Here we go. Up and down. Exhale as you lift and lower. In this position, make sure to keep your belly button pressed back to your spine. This is where your abs do all the work. Concentrating on keeping one straight line from your shoulders to your hips. Extend that knee, and down. Four more. Ready for a challenge? Try straightening your arms, keeping your wrists directly under your shoulders. Last one. Great job. Bend your knees, pull back into a stretch. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale, 
Bring it back up to all fours, down onto your elbows, extend your legs. Okay, are you ready to join me for 10 more? Let's go. Lift up and down. Concentrate on keeping your shoulders and your hips in one straight line without arching your back. Exhale, inhale. Only lift your leg as high as hip height. Again, exhale, inhale, four more. Exhale, inhale. Be attentive to your diet. That way, you'll see the results of your hard work faster. One more. Excellent. Let's rest. You've done a great job. Join me for a relaxing cool down. You've done a great workout. Now let's stretch the abs. Extend your arms out. Lie your hips back on your heels, feeling your whole back stretch out. From here, lift your head. Separating your elbows. Drop down into your abdominals. Keeping your hips on the floor. Raise your chest. Pull your shoulder blades up and back. Really extend and feel those abdominals stretch. Great, roll back down, relaxing your back. Exhale, lift your chest up. Pull your shoulders up and back while your face is front. Great, roll back down. Hands underneath your shoulders. Press up to all fours and sit back again to stretch out your back. Always stretch after a workout. Think of it as dessert. You deserve it. Bring your body up to all fours and back down to your elbows, separating your hands as you go. Head down, tailbone down. Lift your chest up. Roll shoulders back head center, and release down again. Let's do that one more time. Roll up, tailbone down, open up your abs and your rib cage, deep breath. Exhale, roll down. Great, hands underneath your shoulders. Push up to all fours, sit back while your chest stays up and bring your legs around. Clasp your hands underneath your thighs, round your back, chin to your chest. Roll up. Let's do that again. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Roll down and lift. Roll down, let's go all the way down to the floor now. Great, bring both knees up. Let them lie right down on your chest. Relax them, almost like they're dropping right down to your back. Great. Take your back foot down, hold your front knee in, Place your foot on the ground, slide your leg out and do a big arm circle. Bring your leg back in, hold. Good, let's do that again. Foot down, slide, big arm circle. Bring your knee back in. Let's do that on the other side. Other knee comes up, hold. Foot goes down, slide it on the floor, big arm circle. Return that knee back into your chest. Excellent, foot down, slide, big arm circle, knee up. Place that foot back down, bring your arms out to your shoulders, from your shoulders. Bring one knee down in front and let the top leg follow. Trying to keep both shoulder blades on the ground. Twist your torso and feel the entire back and side stretch out. Great. Bring that top knee up. Feel good about yourself. You are on your way to leaner and more defined abs. Bring your front knee to the back and stay there with your shoulder blades down on the ground.
front knee comes out and open. Feeling those hips really stretch out. Bring that back knee to the front again. And extend the leg. Feel the side of your leg, your glute, right up into your back. Stretch out. Bend the knee. Open the leg and hold. Great job. Front leg to the back. Extend that leg, feeling the back stretch out in that position. Bend the knee again. Open the leg. One more stretch here. Thighs draw right into the ground. Slowly bring both knees up, legs up, hands under your thighs, kick, and roll up. Great job. You've done over 200 ab exercises, and you're on your way to a tone and defined midsection. Remember, for the best results, combine this with a sensible diet and aerobic training. Keep up the good work. Watched it on 7, now keep them forever on DVD. The greatest names in football, the classic grand finals. Revisit the 70s, the 80s and the 90s in these brilliant documentaries. The history of the game, the story behind the men who've made it great. DVD brings the sound of the game into your living room. DVD, the face of the entertainment future, it's here now. These great titles are out on DVD at these stores now. Get fit for summer the easy way. No exorbitant gym membership, no high-priced personal trainer. Get rid of the flab, tone up in the privacy of your own home. Join 100 million people who've enjoyed the Dummies range. Hot from the USA, Pilates for Dummies and Yoga for Dummies. The hottest fitness DVDs and videos in the world. Simple and easy to understand and the results will astound you. Get fit in body and mind. The number one best-selling DVDs and videos are in Australia and at these stores now.